from bears to moose. There were several sightings reported over the last couple of days, and it serves as an important reminder of what you should and shouldn't do if you come across one of these animals in your neighborhood. A neighborhood in Hartford's West End has been visited by a bear twice in the span of just a few days. So it's been kind of an eventful weekend, bookended by two bear sightings in the neighborhood right on the same corner. So Helder Mira spotted a bear on North Beacon Street on Monday. He says police told him it had been at nearby Elizabeth Park earlier in the day. And while this once may have come as a surprise, neighbors in the area are starting to get used to seeing bears. I feel like there's a new bear sighting every day now. Everyone, all, all the streets are seeing them. On Friday, neighbors say police responded to another bear sighting in which the animal had climbed a tree while the same situation unfolded in downtown Hartford. I mean, you don't expect to see bears in Hartford. But Connecticut's bear population is growing and the animals have now been reported in every town and city in the state. The Department of Energy and Environmental Protection says bears are now even living in areas once considered poor habitats. I've lived here all my life and it's the first time I've had like this many bear sightings. This is my second bear or third bear at this point in the past 12 months. Deep says the biggest factor is food. Summer is here and grills should be kept clean. Pet food should be kept inside and bird feeders should be taken down. Uh, I was planning on putting up bird feeders and now we just won't be doing that. That's pretty much just open buffet for them. It's not just bears. Over the weekend, Deep says it was notified of a moose in Bristol, and people reported seeing it in Terryville, too. Just this month, three moose have been hit and killed by cars in Connecticut, all serving as a reminder that we share this state with wildlife. Like We just have to learn to coexist and try not to uh, ruin their habitats. Now, if you ever come across either of these animals, Deep says that you should never approach them and that you should report it. We have more information on how you can report sightings on our website, fox61.com. Coming up on the News at 11, I'll tell you how large the moose and bear populations are here in Connecticut. Live in Hartford, Gabby Molina, Fox 61, Connecticut's news station.